Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So guys, today in this video, I will be discussing my interview experience at Andos Thress. So Andos Thress came to our campus on October 14, 2020. So the whole process was virtual. So let's get started. And if you haven't subscribed my channel, do subscribe now and let's get into the video. So first of all, let's discuss about the roles and eligibility of the company. So the company came for the software development engineer role and the location for that was Mexico. So we have to shift to Mexico if we are selected and the cutoff was 7 CGPA. So now moving forward, what was the CTC and eligible branches? So there were many eligible branches like COE, software engineering, IT, MCE, EE, EC and engineering physics and the CTC was 23 lakhs per annum okay now moving forward so what were the different rounds uh, to get selected so there were four rounds first was the online coding test and then there were three tech interviews personal interviews and then the final selection so and all were the elimination rounds so you have to cross each and every round to get into the next one moving forward Let's discuss about the round one. So all the students who are eligible that is having a CGPA greater than seven was able to give this test online test, which was taken on Google forms with video conferencing. Yes, they were monitoring us over the video conferencing. So how was the test? So there were three coding questions and 10 data structures and algorithm MCQs. So the questions was something like this. So first question was code forces B type array plus maths easy and second question was a hard problem like graph algorithm based question so we have to implement that it was a little bit hard and third was valid parenthesis string question it is a lead code medium to question okay so this was the round one now all the students who cleared this round moved to round two so 30 students were shortlisted for round 2 and in this round the focus was on data structures and algorithm so basic three questions were asked first was like basic introduction and then two problems were given first was the problem of on dynamic programming unique path to type question and then there was a problem on greedy algorithms now whoever was able to solve both the problem was shortlisted for round three and round three was our hard round like proper technical round in this only 10 students were shortlisted and a firstly a basic introduction was taken from both the sides like interviewer also give their introduction and interviewee also give their introduction and then there was a single problem that was asked to me and it was a problem based on graphs and it included concepts like hard concepts like bridges articulation points disjoint sets uh, and it was like a code forces e or f problem uh, this round took around one and a half hour to two hours so you can say that this was a hard one now after this round in this 10 students only seven students were shortlisted for the round four and this was type of a managerial plus tech interview and this was taken by the head of technical team so there were two questions that was asked to me first was what is the toughest task you have done so you have to like tell whatever you feel like and second question was longest parenthesis substring type question not exactly this question but type of a this question so this round was also very difficult but not um, like round three and after this round no other rounds were taken and now is the time for final results so my result is that i was rejected and i feel that to pass crack this interview gsoc is very important and you must have good projects in your resume Although they were asking data structures and algorithms in the interviews, but they were also interested in your projects. So I think the students who were having GSOC in their resume was given more weightage. And that's it for my interview experience. 
hope you uh, learn from it and and thanks for watching again and subscribe for more interview experience and more technical knowledge thanks for watching